So here it is, 03 Ruby Red without back wheels. <clears throat> She's just a little dirty and a little crusty. It's leakier on the bottom, but it's just time to do a little maintenance. Little routine maintenance on the old Baja. Engine's kind of dirty, so we're gonna tear it out reseal the heads because they've got the factory head gaskets it's amazing we're gonna do the timing on the front uh, I'm gonna adjust the valves I'm gonna paint up these covers we're just gonna make it look nice give her a spruce up and then we're gonna power wash this engine bay out because it's a mess it's gonna be clean stay tuned stay tuned for more parts come tomorrow <clears throat> yeah we can do that actually it'll, i think it'll go it's gonna be nip and tuck but 30 inches you know i'm always saying yeah japan 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 all the timing stuff's got to be japan I ordered a Gates kit. <clears throat> um, usually the Gates kit comes with Japanese bearings. And in this case, they aren't. Um, say Gates on them, and they say China. And I'm aware that not everything that says made in China is low quality. If you pay more... To the Chinese manufacturer, you get more quality. It's just a matter of what you get and how much you're willing to pay the Chinese manufacturer. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's on my own car, so it'll be a good test. Also, this tensioner says made in Canada, and the pin there is massive um, in comparison to the Japanese ones. I mean, you can just kind of see it. I mean, that pin there, and then this one here is like almost twice the size. So, I don't know. We're going to give him a shot. We can give a shot. Just bleeding it out, making sure it's all good. First things are first, though. We're going to take this rocker cover off, get the, the cylinder head bolts. We're going to take this head off. We're going to clean up the surfaces of the block and the head, and we're going to replace these single-layer steel gaskets with a multi-layer steel gasket, which is an improvement. And then we're gonna put the head back on and torque it down, and we'll move on to the next side. Got the head removed here. These don't look too bad, really. Um, that graphite coating is just starting to peel away here. What happens is you breach this coolant jacket into the oil in most cases, and it's bad. Or you breach it here but here I don't see any breaches. And then, uh, let's just check this other side. Hmm. I've seen plenty worse. Granted, this one didn't even really need, need done, but when the engine's out, you do the things. Okay, crossover pipe for the coolant, that came off. These O-rings I replaced with John Deere T78313s and they're perfect. You can see how that leaks into those bolt holes and the bolts were rusty. And then it leaks coolant out onto the top of the block and it pools and it gets dirty and it looks like an oil leak, but it can make a filthy mess. And eventually it can lead to this kind of a mess. Surfaces are clean and I've got these six stars. I don't really use these anymore. I use the Subaru OEM multi-layer steel, but I had these on hand and I need to use them and what better to use it on my own rig. So it's a Viton coating. The Subaru ones don't have a coating and they say over time these will fail too, but I'm in a car that's got 200,000. Next time I got to pull this engine out, something else is going in it and it may have two more cylinders. So this will be just fine. All right. Well, Got my new stuff on, my new timing belt and pulleys and tensioner, water pump, 
and I've uh, got all the valves adjusted and we're going back together with everything and I want you to note these three studs here uh, the AC compressor this hole this hole and this hole you set this on top of the engine block and you got to put bolts down in there and let me tell you it is not an easy feat to get those bolts to line up and then back in here it's just really tough so I use exhaust studs and I get those in there tight and I set that compressor on top fits perfect and then I just send the nut down over it and we're good it's one of my better inventions I think All right, so here's what we're doing. It's been a couple days. We haven't had time to work on the Baja. Get her back together. I use these uh, multi-layer steel exhaust gaskets anymore just because I've had such problem with those other pieces of junk leaking that are the single layer, whatever they are. And I just get these, I spring for the Subaru intake gaskets too. And uh, engine's in, we're just gonna start dressing her back up with the intake manifold and everything else and be running yet today. Be back on the road with this rig. <laughs> 